Hello, my name is Jerry Bant with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will demonstrate how to add or remove call management system users from password aging. I will first go over some details about password aging for CMS users. Password aging is a security feature of the CMS server's operating system. When password aging is enabled for a user, that user will be prompted to change their password periodically at a configured time interval. However, there may be situations where specific CMS users should be excluded from password aging. One example is a username that is used by an Avaya Professional Services or other vendor's application to access CMS. To make a username exempt from password aging, it needs to be added to the password aging exclude file. I will demonstrate how to do this later in the video. You must be logged in as a root level user to edit the password aging exclude file. Also, you should be knowledgeable in Unix and VI to perform this work. If you later want to remove the password aging exclusion, then delete the username from the exclude file. Then you can use the password command to configure password aging for that user. Now I will demonstrate how to add and remove CMS users from password aging. I am logged into a lab CMS as a root level user. You can use the password minus S option to determine if a specific username is being password aged. I will check if user JLH1 has password aging configured. This user does have password aging enabled. You can tell this by the fields that are following the PS after the username. The PS means that this user currently has a password set in the system. Then if password aging is configured for the user, then the PS will be followed by four additional fields. This user shows the four fields, so password aging is enabled for JLH1. The first field is the date the password was last changed. This password was last changed on December 21, 2011. The next field is the minimum number of days required between password changes. Zero, as shown here, means there are no days required between password changes for this user. The next field is the maximum number of days the password is valid. This is the aging interval when the password must be changed. The system will force a password change for this user every 182 days. The last field is the number of days the user will be warned before the password expires. User JLH1 will be warned seven days in advance that the password will expire. If the user does not have password aging enabled, the display will only show the PS. I'll show this for the username CMS. For CMS, the display shows PS, but none of the other fields, as it did for user JLH1. This indicates password aging is not enabled for the username CMS. Therefore, any password changes for user ID CMS would need to be done manually. To exclude a specific user from password aging, you must add the username to the exclude file. This file is located in the slash CMS slash DB directory. So first you must change to that directory. The file is named age underscore PW underscore exclude. I'll use the list command to display the file details. Now I'll use VI to edit this file and add username JLH1. This will exclude JLH1 from password aging changes made with the CMS ADM utility. If CMS ADM is used to turn on password aging or change the aging interval, this user will not be affected by those changes. 
you do need to have VI knowledge and editing skills to do this work. I have added user JLH1 to the end of this file. Now I will write the change to the file and quit. If password aging was previously enabled for the user that you just added to the exclude file, use the password command to disable password aging for that user. This is done using the minus X and minus one options to the password command. I will demo how this is done for user JLH1. The command will display a password information changed message to confirm that the update was made. To verify password aging is no longer enabled for JLH1, use the password minus S command. Only PS is displayed next to JLH1, indicating that password aging is not enabled for this user. To remove the password aging exclusion for a user, you must first remove that username from the exclude file. Again, you would need to change to the slash CMS slash DB directory. VI the exclude file shown previously. Move to the line with the user you want to delete. I will delete user JLH1. Now I will write and exit the file. If the CMS ADM utility was previously used to turn on password aging for this CMS system, you will need to manually enable password aging for this user. Use the following password command and options to do this. Again, a password information changed message will display. The minus X space 182 sets the aging interval to 182 days. You should set this number to the same number of days that was set using the CMS ADM utility for the other CMS users. The minus W space 7 sets the number of warning days to 7. The CMS ADM utility sets this to 7 days by default. The minimum number of days required between password changes will be set to 0 by default. 0 is also the default set by the CMS ADM utility. So with this command, I have enabled password aging for user JLH1 with the same parameters that were configured before I disabled password aging for this user. To verify, I will use the password minus S command. The display shows password aging is enabled for JLH1 with the parameters that I configured. This concludes the demonstration on how to add and remove CMS users from password aging. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.